What's up, tech friends? Welcome back to the Tech of Tomorrow YouTube channel. We bring you all the tech all the time. What are we doing today? Well, today we're taking a look at the GTX 680 DirectCU2 top card from the people over at ASUS. That's right. This thing comes overclocked, 1201 megahertz right out of the box, has all kinds of features, including their direct hotwire stuff. So you're going to be able to like actually hotwire this thing onto some of their motherboards and overclock the shit out of it by overvolting it. Now, doing so will probably over you know, state your warranty, but those people who do extreme overclocking and that kind of shit, this card is made for that. So it may have more features than you'll ever actually use, but it does have that option. So today we're gonna bring you the unboxing and then the full review of this card. So let's go. All right, folks. So here we see the front of the box has the ASUS logo, inspiring innovation, persistent perfection, DirectCU2 top model, 20% cooler, 14 decibels quieter. That's right. This card's actually pretty big too because it's a giant, huge heatsink. Here you see it, 1201 megahertz. Right out of the box, that's the top GPU boost. That's a great overclock. You have their Digi Super Alloy Power, stable overclocking. This is all the great components and everything that's part of it. The VGA Hotwire for do-it-yourself overvolting. That's pretty crazy, huh? Two gigabytes of GDR5 memory. And obviously it's the GeForce GTX 680. Dun, dun, dun. So we'll flip it around. You guys can just see a quick thing on the side, not too much there at all. Not too much in the bottom either. However, there is the nomenclature. So let me hold this up here so you folks can see this. This shows you the nomenclature of the card for those who are interested. All right, then we'll actually see the back of the box. There's actually quite a bit of features in the back of the box. Right here, you can see repetitive what we saw before. But then we see the heatsink for the first time. Heat pipes, direct contact with the GPU, hence the direct CU2 top. The top's actually overclocking. The direct CU2 is actually this connection right here. Moving next over, we see the Digi Plus VRM Plus Super Alloy Power. 30% less power noise and 2.5 times longer durability. What this means is by keeping the card cool, and they also have programming that actually digitally keeps the fan running. So the fan goes up and down and keeps the card running and it's absolutely cool. It's ensuring that it runs for an absolutely long time. Here's the VGA hot wire, real-time overvolting with ROG motherboards. So that's right, with the top ROG motherboards, you can actually directly take this thing, solder it to the board, and then overvolt the shit out of it for, for overclocking. So with that said, let's jump in and see what else is in the box. Go ahead and get this thing over here and pop the tab. There we go. We'll go ahead and pop the side. Go ahead and remove it from the box. And we'll be kind. We won't even throw the box to the cameraman because we know some of you guys are out there are sensitive. So look, we have the black box inside the box. Boxception going on once again with the ASUS logo across the top. Slap it down. We're going to open it up now. And then inside of the flap, we have the beginning. And here we go. Here is the ASUS little black book. And inside, we have the speed setup guide. And we'll move on. Um, on this particular one that I got, uh, it was an earlier sample, so I didn't get a driver CD. I just downloaded it off the internet from them. So here we go, kaboom. Take that off the top there. Underneath, we have some of the connections. We have the dual Molex to eight pin power connector right there. So, Dual Molex, 8-pin. Here we have right here the SLI bracket. Very far apart, as you can see, it's a very, very large stretch. Because the ROG motherboards, you can separate the cards, and the cards themselves are actually very, very large. All right, folks, now that we've seen all the accessories and all their stuff, let's actually take a look at the meat of the matter, the card. So let me go ahead and take this, get this out of the way here. We'll go ahead and we'll set the card down. Actually, we'll set it down face first and start off right here. So let's do this. Now that we've got the card face first, let's do the measurements. The card is exactly one foot long. So it's a 12 foot card. <laughs> and I'm just kidding folks, a 12 inch card. Why many people caught that? But lady pleasers, it is. A 12 inch card always pleases the ladies. Trust me on this. As far as the width of the card, kabang, it's about two, about two and a quarter inches. We'll have this all translated for you guys in centimeters and all that stuff for you people who live overseas. 
So let's get past that point. And since we got it on this side, let's start off here. Right off the bat, we see two SLI fingers. I mean, you can do quad SLI with this card. Flip it around the side here again. We see eight pin and a six pin power connector. So 150, 75 watts. And then another 75 through the PCI. Okay, see all that nice and good? All right. Let me bring this up to the camera really close. If you guys for somehow missed that, I'll just go up here and show you quick again. Two power connectors and then the two SLI fingers. Don't mean to be redundant, but some people might not have caught that. So let's flip it around. Let's take a look at the rear I.O. Two DVI, HDMI, and DisplayPort. My favorite rear I.O. I prefer this one because those are all the connections that you need. It makes it very easy to plug in, especially using my Dell monitor that's back here in the background. Here's the PCI interface right here. Now here's the front of the card, the two fans. Now underneath all this is the great direct CU stuff. You can't really see it very much because the card is covering it all. Now I'm going to try to get the cameraman to slip right in there and take a look right here. Here you can see one, two, three heat pipes running all the way through the card. Heat fins all the way through. This is connected directly to the GPU. So all the heat gets sucked into that absorbed into this and then blown away by the fans. That totally dissipates the heat away from the card. So last but not least, show the back one more time. And that folks is what comes in the box. All right, folks. So now that we've seen everything that comes in the box, let's see how this card performs against the competition. Get ready to rock out to the benchmark song. Let's go.
The Benchmark Song. Rockin' and rollin' with Pain Cylinder Song, The Benchmark Song. You guys can check that up all over the place. It's available out there. A lot of people ask what it is and if it's available. And for you guys, yes it is in all kinds of different flavors and versions. So anyways, the really cool things about this car though are really for those extreme overclockers. Being able to directly hotwire into the motherboard itself and control everything from the BIOS is really, really critical to those guys who are out there trying to break records and all that stuff. For most folks like me and you that are just at home gaming, that particular feature is like, you know, having a button on our car that we flip to fly, but we know that we really can't fly, you know, but it's really cool to have it anyways, you know what I'm saying? So it's just kind of a really cool feature. At the end of the day, though, I think this thing is a serious Editor's Choice product here on Tech of Tomorrow. It not only is very, very fast right out of the box, it's already overclocked. It runs very, very cool. With the digital and everything control of the fans, like I said before, this thing continually runs at a constantly cool velocity. I think that is absolutely great. So you guys take care. I hope you guys like this video. We're trying to get more of these review type stuff up for you folks, so show some love. And like always, be subscribed because we're going to have all kinds of giveaways and contests going on here on Tech of Tomorrow. So peace.